Hey, my lovely Willow Vibes Tribe members. I'm Jessica from Willow Vines Intuitive Vibes and I'm here to do a collective message. Sorry, I haven't been on in a minute. It's been so chaotic and busy and <laughs> everything just, ah! But anyways, and I keep getting interrupted. Like, I swear, the twins just, whenever they know I'm gonna record, that's when they go on screech. We're good right now, but I sat down and I'm like getting ready cause I had to move everything around. I'm back in the corner. <laughs> Well, yeah, I've, been, I've recorded in this corner before, but because um, my son's home, so I had to take everything I put in there and move it back here, which is totally fine. Um, he loves his room, and I'm so happy that he's home. But anyways, yes, I feel like I miss you guys so much. That's what I feel right now. <laughs> I really do. I miss this. I've been wanting to read for so long and I've been getting channel messages off and on and stuff, but most of it pertained to my own situation and people I know. So it's like nothing that I'm going to really say on here. It's not coming up at this time, but anyways, like, 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 comment, share and subscribe, stick around. I hope you do stay. I would love it if you would. And thank you so much for sticking around and bearing with me. Um, like I said, I got to get into a routine. My daughter just started to school again. My son just came home and the babies and appointments and oh, oh my you know what i mean um but anyways i just heard the news is out the news is out so some information is out but i also heard uh before i hit record no don't do that <laughs> so and i heard it just like that in my head like no don't do that so there's something that someone doesn't want some someone to do and it could be someone from the past because we have the past returns for a time with glamour, intrigue, and drama. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry if that's loud. I'm getting over a cold as well. <laughs> I told you there's a lot going on. I'm not on here for a few days to a week. I think it's been less than a week and it's just like, whoa. Um, but anyways, I feel like something from the past I don't know if something from the past is going to come back and bite someone in the butt. I kind of feel like that's in here. Someone's past is haunting them in a big way. But this feels like a person. Someone that you haven't spoken to in a while or maybe that you don't want to speak to. I don't know if it's a friend, family member, ex, lover, whatever. But this is someone from the past is making a reappearance and they... I feel like they might bring some drama your way. Um, or that's how some drama is going to be created. For some of you, that's why they're returning because of drama. Like, they caught wind of something. Whoever this is, for most of you, isn't going to create drama. They, this person might reach out to you because they caught wind of some type of dramatic news, some type of drama. Um, they're intrigued by your situation or they're intrigued by something that they heard. I'm going to leave that one out. Yeah. Someone's very intrigued by something that has happened. So let's see. I don't have much room over here right at the moment. <laughs> so we're just going to make do with what we have going on. So let's see. We're just going to make do within this situation. We'll do whatever we need to do. We'll handle the situation accordingly. Something like that. Some of you could just be making do in your in any given situation. Like, you might not have everything you need or want, but we never have everything we want, you know what I mean? But you might not have everything that you need pertaining to whatever this is, but you're making do. You're you're making you're making things work. You're doing the best you can, which is amazing. Um I just heard, don't worry, this past person or people, they're not problematic. So this isn't like a big rain cloud pouring over your head kind of thing. I almost feel like if there was any drama, any issues, any problems between you and this person or these people, that's clearing. So if anyone had a bad taste in their mouth about you, if they looked down on you, if they weren't happy with you, I don't know, whatever happened between you and this person... There's like no, I don't want to say there's no hard feelings because there could be on your end, um, on someone's end, but it's like, it's like water under the bridge. Let's move past the past 
and br like so brighter days are ahead that's kind of what it feels like because i feel like whatever this is you've healed from it you like it doesn't bother you or whatever whatever happened between you and this person or people it's like i just kind of wish that didn't unfold that way but you know it is what it is and i don't know there's a change something has changed in your world that's changing the minds of of these people because I wanted to say you changed the mind of the of the great pretender so if anyone was pretending to care about you or being two-faced or anything like that I don't know they you change their perspective of you they're looking at you very differently whoever they are um Because it's almost like the mask came off. Your mask is gone. But I don't feel like you ever had a mask. This person was wearing a mask of their own. But it's almost like they were painting a picture of you in their mind. Maybe based off from what other people were saying and whatever. Whatever happened. But it's like they were putting the mask on you. And they're taking it away now. That sounds so weird. But it's not because... It, how do how do I want to say that? Because it, that's weird to say that somebody put a mask on you. Because they were looking at you from a, from a skewed view, basically. From the viewpoint of haters, of, of, of problematic people, issues, whatever. Like, they were looking at you from a problematic standpoint. <coughs> like, you were the problem. There we go. And they got it wrong. They misjudged you is what it feels like. Somebody misjudged you. I feel like it's hard for them to admit. So this person hasn't admitted that to you. I don't know if they will. They might. But I feel like do over energy for some reason. Okay. I heard I'm sorry. So there's someone who's sorry for however they treated you. Or whatever. Whatever happened. Um... You're like a big mystery to this person. They couldn't figure you out. If it's more than one person, I just feel like you're a big question mark. And it's not because you're mysterious or trying to be mysterious. And it's not because you're a liar. It's just uh, a lack of understanding. So these people or person, they don't, they didn't understand you. They didn't know who you are, what you represent. And they're seeing exactly who you are now. And it's who you've shown them the entire time. So it's like whatever... Whatever you showed this person or these people, it feels like a, it feels like more than one person. That's why I keep saying it. Whatever you showed them was your authentic self, but they didn't believe it because nobody's that nice. Nobody's that perfect. You know, I'm not saying that you're perfect or you're saying you were perfect because nobody is. It's they were viewing you that way, like, like all right, the light doesn't shine out of anyone's fucking ass, you know, and it definitely don't shine out of yours, but it actually does. <laughs> And they're seeing that, like, like oh, like that was a hundred percent you, wasn't it? Yep, was. Oh wow, I I misjudged this whole situation. That's kind of what this feels like. Star seed, cause you're a star seed. Just saying. Self, memories, identity. What? That's what I was just talking about. Your identity. And it doesn't feel like an identity crisis or anything like that. I feel like you were showing these people, you were showing the world, whatever, whoever's around you, exactly who you are, what you're made of, and people weren't believing it. They weren't believing it. They thought that whoever, whoever you were, whoever you are, you know, however you're presenting yourself, it was just all phony. It's just a big illusion. No, you were being true to yourself and true to those around you these people must be used to phony balonies i'm just saying because that's how they were viewing you and you were 110 percent yourself air philosophy discrimination they discriminated against you it could be for your belief system especially if you're very spiritual but i feel like somebody is heavily thinking about how they discriminated against you how they pushed you away how they judged you how they hurt you how they didn't believe you and you pushed through all that bullshit with strength courage and bravery could be within a family situation even but for some of you it's almost like 
you showed the world, you showed these people, I'll say, whoever's around, whoever these people are, you showed them your true power. You showed them what true power is because you just continued to do your thing, be yourself, and not give a flying F what anyone thought. Because when you feed into the nonsense of others, when they cast these shadows and call you a liar, even if you're not doing a damn thing wrong, you know what I mean? Um, if they paint that crap picture of you and you just don't care, you're like, say what you want, do what you want, this is me, and you just keep doing your thing, that is where true power is. Um, and I feel like there's these people are seeing that. Like, you're rising above the drama, rising above the bullshit, being the bigger person. You're, you're very strong. And this is like a strength that these people didn't see within you before they didn't they thought you were weak they didn't think that you were strong enough to overcome adversity to overcome this that or the other to continue to be yourself because liars always get caught their stories change their personas change the mask falls off you know whatever but your mask never fell off because it's your skin it's you you know it's like they were just waiting for you to fuck up and fail. They were just these people or this person, whatever. They were waiting for the truth to be revealed. And the truth is, the truth of the matter is, um, you were telling the truth the whole time. You were showing them the truth the whole time. Um, and they're seeing it going, whoa, I, I got a lot to think about now. Like, oh my gosh. Like, this is unbelievable. Whatever this is, is unbelievable. Because it's making me think of aliens and stuff. It's like, I can't believe that just happened. I can't believe you just said that. I can't believe you predicted that. I can't believe that this that this just happened. Whatever it is, because it's different for everyone. I don't know. Someone might have been looking at you as though you were like a puzzle. Like the Rubik's Cube here. Like, I just can't figure you out. I just can't figure this out. Like, where's the missing piece? There's, there's got to be something going on here, and there isn't. This person, these people just can't figure, they couldn't figure you out. You want to know why they couldn't figure you out? Because there was nothing to figure out. Because you told them everything they need to know. You showed them everything they, they needed to see. You know what I mean? It's like, this is me. Hello. <laughs> Hello. And they're like fuck that's really what this feels like like oh shit what did i miss oh I, I i missed everything i fucking missed everything i missed all the signs i missed they missed everything that was right in front of their face it's like okay like with aliens and stuff is what it's making me think of because i feel like you were so bold and uh not necessarily bold but just so authentic okay just in your truth, 100% with whatever this is, just with yourself. And <coughs> these people were just looking for the error, the, like the lie. We get a, the, the crack in your foundation, the, um, the typo in your story, basically. But they couldn't find one because you were being authentic. And it was just right in front of their face the entire time. The information, the the problem, the situation, whatever was going on, it was just poof, right there. It's like, oh my God, this was sitting in front of me the entire time and I didn't see it. It's like looking out the window and you're seeing a, a spaceship fucking land and the person's going, well, aliens don't exist. They're staring right at the spaceship, watching these little dudes climb out of the fucking spaceship and do their thing. And they're like, maybe somebody spiked my tea. Something's fucked up here. I don't, that, that's not real. It's not real. Even though they're looking right at it. And then they go, get to thinking and going, wait a minute, I didn't even have tea. So how would anyone spike my tea? I'm, I'm all alone. I literally saw that. Holy crap. Uh, so yeah, somebody's realizing something <laughs> in a big way. In a motherfucking huge way. So let's see what's going on. And they might want to speed things up. I feel like a lot of changes are occurring now and things are moving forward kind of rapidly. Um, some of your dreams, especially psychic dreams, are, are happening now. Um, someone could be realizing that 
their dreams are psychic dreams, like, oh shit, I dream it and it happens, or they're realizing that your dreams are psychic dreams, depending on who you are. Somebody is definitely recognizing something. Um, some of you could be working on your chakras, aligning your chakras. Uh, the color purple is very significant with that. Service. Maybe somebody needs to align their chakras. We could have a veteran here, not necessarily. Deployment. Soldier on leave. Someone could be a soldier on leave or they're out for deployment warning. All right, with the warning, ow. With the warning, I'm seeing military background and dealings with the law, stalker. Okay, I've stepped away from this for how fucking long and we still got the fucking stalker. What the shit's up with this mother, mother effer, just saying. Um, that could be what's coming back to bite someone in the ass. It is hurting so bad right here. Yeah, some. There's a sacrifice that's going to be made. They're not sacrificing you or anything like that. That's not what this is. The past is coming back to bite someone in the ass. Oh, okay. Well, you know what this feels like. Yeah, the authentic self stuff is here because someone who didn't believe you, they didn't believe what you were saying, whether you have psychic abilities or not, and I feel like for some of you, you do, and that's what someone didn't believe in, but I, I feel like somebody literally did not believe what you were saying. Like if something was happening to you, if any of you were dealing with a stalker, a problematic person, or people. Because danger, I kept staring at danger out in the garage too, that word, warning and danger, warning, danger, kept showing up for some reason. And I really don't know what it's about when I was seeing it, but I'm seeing it here. <sighs> okay, this person's tactical, but anyways, I feel like there's someone who's going, oh shit, I should have believed you kind of thing. You really do have a stalker. There really was a problem around. Um, I, I'm gonna say was, because I don't feel like this person is actively problematic for you at this time. But because of what they did, it's gonna come back and bite them in the ass because what they did was illegal. They could have a military background, whoever that is. Um, and whoever didn't believe you before is going to believe you now because it's been sitting right in front of their face. Like, oh. Like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I didn't, I didn't recognize the signs. I can't believe whatever, but they, someone's gonna believe you now, basically. I don't know, someone's waiting for something. The letter T could be significant. Well, I did say someone like T, <laughs> like the spiked your T or whatever. Um, spiked T, twisted T, that could be significant. But the letter T, regardless. You're safe, so don't worry. Like, even though warning showing up, you're safe. Like I said, this person isn't a problem right now. But whatever they did to you, whatever happened, is coming back. Somebody's heavily thinking about this. It's coming back around. It's almost like somebody, whoever this is, didn't believe you because they believed the problem. They're probably loyal to the wrong person or people. That's what it feels like. Yeah, somebody believed the problem over, I don't want to say over the solution, but over the victim. Somebody believed the problem over the victim. It's just like with um, narcissistic people or those who are psychos or whatever, whether they've been diagnosed or not, the types of people where they're like super cruel, they stalk you, they, they hurt you, they beat you up, they do all kinds of fucking shitty shit to you. But when other people are around or their public persona is just all like, I'm fucking perfect. Um, I'm the nice guy, nice woman, whatever. And it's just all for show. That person's mask is slipping. Because um, whoever didn't believe you is now seeing through their shit. Because there's nothing to see with you. Because you've already shown these people who you are and what's going on. Like, there's nothing more to say about this. Because, boom, there it is. Like, that's, <laughs> that's what this feels like. Um... 
Alrighty. So if you have been praying for a resolution in this situation, for this person to get caught, these people, whether it was one or many, there's more than one. Um, if you're praying for karma, for justice, every single person involved in this situation, even if they're just tied to it, especially in a negative way, they're all going to reap what they sowed. Even if somebody else was doing the sowing, they bought the thread. Just saying, they're fucked. There's a lot of people who are screwed in this situation. Yeah, because there's a tower. Whatever this is, it's coming, it's coming out out of nowhere. I just heard I'm coming over, so there's someone who's going to visit. Uh, the Empress. I'm coming over. The Empress isn't going anywhere. No. Someone might be visiting this mother, their mother, baby mama. No, it's not baby mama. Or you. This feels like you. This feels like the powerful energy. So there is a feminine, potentially a feminine Scorpio, Taurus, or Libra. Not necessarily. Who is in her power. Someone's going to come see you. betrayal right there painful ending someone's coming over they're not coming over to hurt you though someone's coming over to say something about this betrayal yeah somebody wants to apologize for a level of secrecy as to why they walked away because they didn't believe you Someone wants to suck up their pride. They don't want to do it. They're going to. Um, and do the right thing. I just heard because it's about fucking time. They're really worried about the truth. They're worried about speaking to you. Whoever this is, is... They're really, they're really worried. Someone's worried about their fuck shit being revealed for one. So whoever was stalking you would do a bad crap. Well, guess what? <laughs> their past shit's coming out. Um, and they might be all tangled up and tied up inside. Like, oh gosh, I can't. But they, they don't show it on the outside. Uh, yeah, somebody screwed you over big time. And they, they did things to hurt you. But I don't feel like it really did hurt you. It could have at one point, but I feel like it just wasn't worth your time and energy, whatever this was. You're just kind of like, all right, yeah, I see. I see what you're doing here, deuces, you know. Um, but yeah, there's sudden communication. There's a lot of nerves with this. Someone's very nervous about talking to you. I mean, if you do have any spiritual gifts and abilities and stuff, um, this person might know that they have to come correct and they could be nervous that you're going to know their intentions if they approach you. That could be why they're holding back. But I feel like you're holding back from this person or these people. You're not um, you're not engaging with, with, with them or within this situation. It's like, I feel like... You don't even need closure. It's almost like, I don't even care if you bring the truth in. I don't even care if this gets quote unquote resolved. It's already resolved for you because you're not feeding into it. Um, but I do feel like the clarity that you want is coming in about whatever this is. Something to do with a tow truck or someone's toe. But it feels like a tow truck. Like I need a tow. Um, like your car's broke down or something. Um... Ace of Cups, yeah. You loved yourself through all this crap. There's someone here who fell in love with you. They were trying to keep something professional between you and them. And they can't because they love you. So I was trying to keep a level of professionalism in this situation. But I fucking fell in love. That's what this feels like. I don't feel... I mean, you could have feelings for whoever this is. But it feels... The letter T is significant. I don't know what that's about. But... Because I just touched the letter T. Wait a minute. You gotta cross your T's and dot your I's. That's like... Tying up loose ends. 
I got a, the tie up. Something to do with tying, tying up. I gotta tie up loose ends. Somebody's tying up loose ends. And it has something to do with the truth. I love you. Well, I mean, this person probably really does love you because I don't feel like they're lying about that. And you could have feelings for them, too. I mean, whether this is romantic love or, like, friend-family love, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like you have love for whoever this is, but you love yourself. This person was trying to stay professional around you for some reason, so I don't know if this is work-related for some of you, like a co-worker or something, or if they... If you collaborated with them, there's something to do with keeping something professional. But it's hard to do because they love you. Okay, that's weird. Someone's definitely getting karma for betraying you, for hurting you. Whoever... Whatever this person did, they really fucked up big time for the divine to get involved. I'm just saying. This person broke your heart is what I just heard. It could be a father figure or it's your emperor, like your twin flame, your counterpart. Whoever this is, is they're paying attention to you. Um, and they're, they're worried about something. They're not worried about you. They're not worried about you and your safety. They probably should have been at one point, but I feel like you held your own. You did good. Um, in this situation and you proved everyone wrong is what it feels like um, and you are successfully overcoming whatever this is but I feel like you've successfully broken a karmic cycle even if it's with a family member or friend or lover or whatever um, yeah someone's gonna end up dealing with the law because of some fuck shit they pulled and this emperor person is really worried about it because whatever they did is very 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 public like, a lot of people know. More than one person knows. I just heard everyone but you. Everyone but you knows what's going on. Well, that's what happened in the situation. Everyone around you within the town, the group of friends, family, whatever, they all knew what was going on except for you kind of thing. Well, guess what? Something's coming to light. <laughs> I'm just saying, everyone knew but you. Everyone knew what was going on in this situation except for the one you love. That's who you is, is the one you love. That sounded confusing when I said it. It's the one the Empress loves. Everyone knew that you had feelings for this person. Everyone knew all the bullshit that was going on in this situation. Everyone knew the lies, the drama, the bullshit the illusions, the, the, the bad behavior, the dangerous behavior, the stalking, the problems, everyone knew about the betrayal, except for the one you love. That person was not in the know. Or you weren't in the know. Either, either the Empress wasn't, or the Emperor wasn't, someone wasn't. But I feel like the Emperor is the one that's going, wait a minute, I see something. Like, what is that? Everyone knew but you. It's making my my ear hurt, like, it's right here. I don't know what that is, and it's not like a pulled muscle because it's fine, but whenever I keep saying you, makes it hurts right here. Everyone knew but you. <clears throat> what did they know? <laughs> Um, seriously, you can't make this up. The seven of swords and the three of swords. Everyone knew. Because they were trying to hurt you. Like this is being sneaky, like stalker type shit. Being sneaky and sly. Creating pain and problems behind the scenes hurting you behind the scenes hurting you in a way that might make you feel nuts you know what I mean that might make you seem crazy 
give me more on that. Mm. Yeah, we'll use the tea leaf cards. You know, we I did mention tea. Table, hard work ahead. It's gonna take a lot of work to take your ass down, I'm just saying. Not a problem, but the Empress, whoever's in their power, like good fucking luck. Um, taking taking you down, taking her down, him, whoever. Um, it hasn't worked yet and it won't work, is what I just heard. A journey, either physical or mental. This is a mental journey, definitely. But I feel like this problem, the hard work ahead was trying to take you down. So if you are powerful and successful and doing good for yourself, like doing well, if, you, if you're happy, you know? And I, this is happy energy. This is I love my fucking self and I am a strong ass bitch kind of energy. I feel like a lot of you are in that. In that. <coughs> you're owning it. Um, your own and your power and people weak-minded motherfuckers don't like it basically and these people spent a lot of time a lot of energy a lot of hard work trying to take you down trying to take you out like trying to make you seem putting the mask on you that's how I started this reading these people were trying to create the illusion and put the mask of bullshit on you when the bullshit was their own bullshit the entire time well, guess what? It was one fuck of a journey, and that journey's coming to a close. Because all of this is revealed. I just heard, not yet it is. So, not yet it is? So, it isn't. That, that was said wrong. They definitely doesn't want their bullshit revealed. I'm just saying, but too late. Um, I just heard you can't fight the inevitable. What's going to happen is going to happen kind of thing. Um... Yeah, there's someone here who worked very hard against you behind the scenes in the background. They they weren't like the the poster child <laughs> the poster child of the situation. You know what I mean? Like they weren't at the forefront. They weren't the front lines. Um they were the weakest the weakest aspect of the military. I don't know, that just popped in my head. So they weren't like Marines and shit. They weren't front line. Um they were behind the scenes being little, like, puppet master shit. Trying to make you look bad. But it's getting reversed. What is this? Bucking tower again. Solid foundation, success with effort. Yeah, you've successfully overcome the situation and the bullshit's coming out. But, um, I just heard you successfully figured this out. So, somebody finally figured something out which is great that's i want more on that problem what's up with this problematic person or people like why what's up with them real quick oh i got a different deck to use they were childish that's for damn sure could be someone who has a lustful pull towards you and they were being selfish and childish in the situation. And that's probably where some of this started. Like, I'm going to spread these rumors about you because you don't like me. Like, suck a dick, you know what I mean? <laughs> Anyways. Um, oh, where did it go? Sorry, I'm not very organized right this second. Is it this? No. Where did it go? This one. Yes. So what's up with the problem? I gotta do a reading on Willow's Wisdom, too. Hopefully it's a happier one. What in the hell? But, you know, messages come out the way that they're supposed to. Yeah, these people were very inconsiderate. They didn't, they weren't taking your feelings into consideration. Um, I don't know, these are a bunch of a-holes, who they are. <coughs> Feathers could be significant as well. Um... Jealous. 
What did I say? Weak people. There's someone, the person who's behind the scenes that started it all, that started all the fucking problems, no matter how many people were involved, no matter what bullshit was like put on you or put in your path from these stupid mofos, it's all because they were jealous. It's all because, you know, you love yourself, you're happy, you're healthy, you're powerful, you're strong, you're this, you're that. We gotta, you're right. You've been right this entire time. You're right. Your intuition is right. You're on the right track. We got to make sure you're not on the right track because you're, you got too much right. Someone didn't like it. And they were fucking spiteful as shit. Someone was pissed that you're doing better than them. <laughs> that's really what this is. Like, that's what it boils down to. And it's almost like every single thing that they said, every word, every thought they had, whether it got sent your way or not, you know what I mean? Um, no matter who they spoke to, who they pinned against you, whatever they fucked up for you wasn't meant for you in the first place, and you didn't care. Like, oh, you fucked up that relationship? Oh, well, I wasn't even in it anyway, so... It wasn't really a relationship to be fucked up because you kind of have to be dating the person in order to screw up a relationship. So if you don't have the relationship, then you didn't fuck it up in the first place, right? Um, if they made somebody look away from you and be like, Ugh, you're ugly, Ugh, I don't love you, or you're not the one for me, they probably aren't. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you can't force love. You can't make yourself not love someone. You know what I mean? So it's like... Um, whoever screwed up, whatever this is, it was meant to be screwed up because it wasn't for you in the first place. Um, yeah, they were just preying on you. These people were treating you like you were a victim. They're, they're like, you're their prey. It's like, you sit here and pray, but you are the prey. And you're like, my prayers are a lot stronger than whatever you're bringing my way. So, um, and I think you proved that because these predators suck apparently like apparently their instincts are crap because they never caught you they couldn't get to you and they still can't yeah they were exploiting you for some of you not for all of you with this stalker energy this jealous person people they could have been spying on you listening in uh to conversations recording you or I don't know, they were doing some, all right, for some of you, if they were recording you, even if it was just audio and not visual, um, whatever you were recorded saying, they could have been sharing with other people to paint a really shitty picture of you to make you look bad. I just said this, not on camera, but I was saying it to someone, oh, my mother, about how you can paint a picture of someone, like with technology and stuff, um, whether it's of someone or just a situation. Oh, because we're talking about the news and the media and stuff like that, because basically buildings could be blowing up over here and I can turn the camera over here so you don't see that mess and it's all sunshine fucking rainbows, you know what I mean? Um, it's like they'll show you what what they want you to see. So if anyone was recording you, sharing it for sharing your information, like, okay... Say they recorded you talking to another person or you were reading your journal out loud, doing something. So it's personal, okay? And they have it recorded. It's like, okay, well, this is going to, this part right here is going to piss off this person. So I'm going to tell them that. I'm not going to tell them all the rest of it. I'm going to take it out of context so that they hate you. Uh, so they get mad at you. That type of thing. Whether it was from a recording, a journal entry, um, messages going back and forth, text messages, shit like that. Um, or if you're talking to another person, something like that, like hearsay. Someone's like, all right, I know that this is going to bother this person that you said that. So I'm just going to say this part and I'm going to leave out why you said it in the first place or that the fact that it wasn't even about them. Like, you know what I mean? Something like that. That's how they were exploiting you <sighs> is what it feels like. They were, they were using your words against you, twisting them around. So if you were venting or processing through anything, um, 
hell, even if you're saying something nice and kind, they would still twist it around. Because they're conniving motherfuckers and they were projecting their own bull, their own bullshit and lies. Yes, this, these people or this person was projecting lies so that, because they were scheming, so that they could pin people against you. Like, can you believe that? Oh, you think so and so is just so perfect and nice? This is what they said about you. And even if you did say whatever, whatever they said you said or whatever they shared, like it was your voice saying it, it was taken out of context. So <coughs> it sounded worse than it really was. That's what someone did to you. Um, well, the lies are coming out. And whoever that jealous mother is, um, they can cry a fucking river and drown themselves and that's what they can do. I don't know. I feel like someone's not going to be happy with whoever did that. I'll tell you what you want to hear. That's what was going on. I'm going to make sure all these people, this person, whatever, that, that I tell them what they want to hear or what I feel they need to hear. And it's not, it has nothing to do with the truth. When they should have been, they shouldn't have been listening in the first place. They shouldn't have even have been paying attention to you. Someone got something all wrong. Could be a king of cups, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And you know it. You know exactly who messed with you. And they're stressed about it. so funny how when things come full circle or when the truth is revealed like you know say someone does something really cruel to you they push you away they're mean to you they hurt you they do whatever they do because uh because of lies um sometimes you moving forward and not caring and not be not allowing them in your world once they figure it out even if they apologize is karma all in itself because I used to say and I mean this still to this day I used to say all the time the the revenge that I want on those who have hurt me no matter what they've done is my success because I'm not going going to invest my time my energy my inner power and strength on losers on stupid people that don't matter on people who are beneath me you know what I mean because anyone who's that low vibrational is beneath you um, especially if you're, if you're, you know, raising yourself up above that crap and not succumbing to the bullshit, basically. And I feel like most of you haven't. Um, your success is their failure. And that's exactly what they're going to get. That's awesome. I really like that a lot. They're going to watch you succeed. Potentially in love, even. But um, you're going to get what you want because that's what you deserve. That's awesome. This is really awesome. Um, but that's what I have for you in this reading. And don't worry, I will do more. Um, hopefully tonight, like when the bebes are sleeping, I might be able to just sit over here and do a little quiet read. <laughs> um, but anyways, I love you guys and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.